Happy Saturday, everybody. Hope you're all enjoying your weekend. I was gonna drop this yesterday, but we all know weekends can be a little light on the content, so I figured uploading Saturday instead would be a fun surprise to help get you all through the day. Hope you're all still in bed, watching movies, or eating takeout, smoking a blunt, or doing whatever you do to relax, and let's get deep inside right away. Well, here we go again. They just, <laughs> they just couldn't leave it alone, could they? That's right, everybody. Sadly, the long arm of the horrifying dystopia of modern-day corporate industry has finally embraced our dear friend Resident Evil 4. And why, you ask? Well, because that game has committed high crimes and has been judged guilty of not being completely ruined by overzealous monetization. Oh, the horror. Oh yes, the agents of the status quo have descended upon poor old Resident Evil 4 Remake because Capcom, in their infinite wisdom and greed, have decided that selling a meager 4 million copies in the first week was simply not enough money. And in order to assure that their poor CEOs and upper management don't need to go without their second and third yachts this year, they'd like to offer us customers the very special privilege of paying even more money to not play parts of the game. Understandably, some of you may be wondering, wait, the fuck is going on? I was actually pleasantly surprised by the apparent lack of cynical corpo money grubbing in the new RE4. And now you're saying there's microtransactions? Yes, that is exactly what I'm saying. So, what the fuck do they do now? Well, while many of us were downloading the much-anticipated Mercenaries mode patch last night, seems Capcom got a little sneaky and slipped one past the goalie. Or rather, they slipped 11 things past the goalie. Paid DLC in the form of weapon upgrade tickets. And this stuff is just coming right out of the scummy corporal playbook, sadly. Dropped after release? Check. Dropped after reviews had been released? Check. Affecting gameplay and incentivizing pay-to-win mechanics? Check. Ugh, what a bummer. Now, those of you consulting from your holy book of nuance will, of course, note that the usual caveats apply. Yes, you don't need to buy them. Yes, they aren't required to finish the game, and yes, the game still plays fine without them. Nonetheless, they do further the acceptance of this kind of thing, and that's something that we should all be against, or at the very least, highly skeptical of. Capcom described the new pay-to-win DLC with the following bit of patronizing drivel from the game's Steam page. To gun enthusiasts, knife collectors, and lovers of weapons of any and all kinds, here's your ticket to the gun show. Specifically, a ticket to be redeemed at the merchant shop. With this, you'll have direct access to a weapon's exclusive upgrade at any time, regardless of the weapon's level. Not only that, but once unlocked, the upgrade itself is free of charge. Ugh, great, I guess. Just what any dev should be striving for though, right? Designing a game where people want to pay to spend less time playing it. This is something I've never really understood. Like, how can you like a game enough to care about how powerful you can be in it and what kind of weapons you have, yet simultaneously not want to play it enough to get those good weapons. It reminds me of like when I was a kid, I'd go to my friends' houses for the weekend and whenever some of them would get a new game, the first thing they'd do is look up the cheat codes. Why is that appealing? Anyway, I digress. What they're selling you here is a way to skip maxing out a weapon and go right to its special upgrade without having to actually spend the time required playing the game to earn enough money to max out the weapon first and then earn the ticket for the upgrade. For the Red 9, that means flat damage multiplier. For the Punisher, it's multiple target pen. While your stock pistol gets a buffed crit chance and the Stingray increased fire rate and so on. This is a fuck ton of game time that they're saving you. Don't get it twisted. The question is simply if that's worth it to you. Now, in a way, I guess I do kind of get it. 30 gems are a lot and 40 can be pretty daunting. If this kind of thing is your jam, one of those tickets is gonna set you back 10 bucks for five of them, seven bucks for three, and three bucks for one. Now, is this super egregious? Uh, by microtransaction standards, not really. It's more the way they rolled this out after release, under cover of other DLC, and after reviews had already been published that makes it you know, kind of particularly shitty. While I was doing my first playthrough, which I did on hardcore difficulty, something I do not recommend, by the way, one of my main gripes was how bullet spongy they would made all the enemies. The only gun that I ever had a consistent amount of ammo for was the handgun, because every time I'd pick up even like four shoddy shells, I'd immediately dump all four into some trash mob with a pig head, which would rarely be enough to kill him, leaving me with barely enough handgun ammo most of the time and certainly never a surplus of heavy weapon ammo. I was disappointed by how little I was able to use all the other weapons and now we have a possible reason for those balancing issues. They were planning to make you pay for the privilege of enjoying the game you bought and the convenience of making mobs more manageable. Am I being too cynical with that take? Is that like some crazy paranoia shit? I don't know, you guys let me know. I would like to give Capcom the benefit of the doubt here because frankly, I love the Resident Evil 2 remake and I think they did a pretty good job with the new RE4. Probably a solid B, B minus in my opinion, but with this shit, they are not making it easy. 
After all, remember that microtransactions are like vampires, y'all. Once you invite them in, you are not getting them back out. Anyways, thanks for kicking it with us this weekend. We love you today. We love you all the way. What do y'all think about this? Does it not even rise to the level of bothering you enough anymore? Is this the final straw with Capcom for you? Or for that matter, are you into this? Are you thinking about buying a few? Let us know in the comments down below, and we will be back on Monday to help brighten your day. After all, what better way to start off the week than by having Shanghai Pete and Degreelessness traumatize you with blood-curdling tales from the video game industry? See you then. Chuck, chuck, woke up, smoke up, blood, then I pass out. Pass, pass out. Huh? Woke up, what up, smoke up, blunt, then I'm back down, back, back down, what? Yup, yup, woke up, smoke up, blunt, then I pass out, pass, pass out, huh? Woke up, what up, smoke up.